Here's a question for you. Which is the more important part of a split system, the condensing unit or the indoor evaporator coil? Actually, it may be the same as asking whether the chicken or the egg is more important. But don't answer the question yet, because on today's Dare to Compare Tour, we're taking a look at some exciting new developments in the world of evaporator coils and air handlers. And if coils and air handlers don't excite you, you've never been to the Dayton, Tennessee facility. I've even heard they have some real hound dogs here. Hopefully they won't be attracted to the aftershave that I used this morning. Uh, joining me now is Ron Winger. Hi, Ron, how are Hi, you? Mark. Hey, hey, good to see you. It's good to have you here today. Ron, I've told everyone that exciting things are happening here. Do you agree? Yes, sir. This is the place to make it happen. We're all about quality, cost, and delivery. We want to have the best value of product for the marketplace. That sounds good. Let's go take a look. Okay. All right, Ron, where are you taking me now? We're coming into the clean room, and this is the place where we built the all-aluminum coil. Right. It's what's going to take the industry by storm. You can feel the, the air, right. the pressure. We pressurize the room uh -huh. uh, to keep copper contaminants or steel contaminants from getting in on the aluminum. And the other thing is, when we get in here, we're going to have to put something on our feet because we've been walking around in the copper side. Right. We want to make sure we don't spread that around in there. Okay, so that's why it's called the clean room. That's, that's why we call it the clean room. And you just let anybody walk in there? No, right? sir. Oh, there's that pressure you were talking about. Yep, the fans are blowing, pressurizing the room so we can uh, keep all those other unfavorable particles out of here. Right, right. Well, Mark, we've got to put on these covers to keep the copper that we've tracked around from the other part of the factory okay. from coming into the clean room. Hey, wow, those are awfully big. Who you got working here, Sasquatch? Uh, that's what we put on the high lift when it comes from the copper side in here when we have to work on lights or something like that. We, we put those on the wheels. Oh, that makes so sense. we don't track back and forth. Right. All right, Ron. Well, here we are in the heart of the clean room. So tell me all about it. Of course, the whole process starts with a hairpin. This is where the quality starts, it's making this hairpin. You've got to make sure that this hairpin is even on the end so that we can expand it and the ends come out right with the right flare. We also are critical on these overall measurements here. Uh, the operators check that hourly and we check it off to make sure that we're not building a bunch of unusable hairpin. Hairpin vendors, a couple of them are retrofitted with a uh, stretch straightener which uh, helps make this tube even straighter so we can lace this aluminum tube into the aluminum tin. It's very galling if you don't have it just right. The tube is also a prelude so that it helps in expanding over its expander. Well, what about the expander? What do you do with the fines? Well, we've got special setups on the expander right. to make sure that those rods and bullets can go down in the tube and expand it out to the fin. But it does create some fines. And we've got a proprietary process that we have to remove the fines. Okay. And so you've got the auto brazer over here as well. Part of that process is proprietary too. Okay. And we've got special braze rings special return bends, and we run it through. We've got various setups for raising the return bend and crossovers into the coil. All right, Ron, I've heard a lot around here about your hound dogs, and I've heard a lot of noises here today, but I haven't heard any barking or howling, so they must really like working here. Well, the hound dogs are, are a quiet machine. They're not gonna be barking at you. That noise you're hearing, that's that thump, thump, thump of the fin press. Right. And if we don't have that going on, we don't have something put in the hound dog. Uh -huh. But the hound dog is going to look for those leaks. It's going to sniff them out and look for the leaks. Right. Come on, let's go look at it. Let's them. go take a look. All right, Ron, uh, I've heard a lot about those hound dogs. Is this finally it? No, 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 no. It's not the hound dog. This is where we're putting on that tracker label that keeps up with the leak check data and gives us all the information about the unit. You said these are all aluminum coils. How does the installer connect all the fittings to these things? Well, we've tried to account for that. If you look at this unit that we have right here, we're putting on a copper stud. So when it gets out in the field, the installer would cut off the end of that spun end, right. and he'd braze copper to copper. He didn't have to deal with the aluminum. All right, so the next place we're going, the hound dog. Nope, we're going to go to pressure decay. Well, let's go see it. 
All right, and this is the gross leak check, right? That's correct. So tell me about that. In developing this coil, we developed all the braze joints and all the tubing to pass the refrigerant requirement, and that burst test is about 2,400 to 2,500 PSI. Oh, wow. And we've got test after test after test that shows that these aluminum belt coils are very, very strong. All right, next. The hound dog. dog. All right, let's yeah. get him. Yep. Mark, I know you can tell what this is. The hound dog. How can you tell? <laughs> I don't know, it's tough. So tell me exactly what this test does. We're checking every joint at one time for a potential leak. And if it has a leak rate higher than half an ounce a year, 0.5 ounce a year, then it retests. Half an ounce a year? Half an ounce. Wow, that is very, very impressive. That's very, very, very small. Well, yeah, it is. Ron, how can you top a tour like this? Well, Mark, we're just about to get to uh, line C, which is the uh, world's most productive air handler assembly line. We make it happen here. So they assemble the entire unit right here between these two walls, this small space. That's correct. Wow. And we do everything. All the sub-assembly work gets done right here on this line. And we build the coil at the front of the line, do the full leak test. We bend the wrapper, we insulate it, we start assembling, and it just goes down the line. Well, I can see why you call it the most productive. These guys just move so fast. Every person on this team knows their job, and they have a certain amount of time to get it done, and they all work together to make it happen to build the best quality unit. So what kind of testing do you do on the unit? Well, that's next, uh, and we do a very thorough test job. So let's go over and take a look at that. Let's do it. Well, Mark, here we are at the uh, run test, one of the more important stations on this assembly line. One of the first things that the operator is going to do here is check the pressure of the unit to verify that something didn't happen coming down the line before we get it into the box over here. Then the operator is going to plug in the electrical and we're gonna go through the full gamut of a test. We're gonna do the high pot, we're gonna test out the heater, we're gonna hook up the motor, and we've got some very tight band of acceptance ranges for all these tests. Assuming that it passes all those tests, then it's gonna print out a label. That is the indicator for the field. Hey, this thing's been through 100% test. The next step there is the operator puts on the top cover, and that operator will scan that tracker label again to print out the boxing label. But once it passes that test, you box it up, it's ready to ship off. That's correct. Hey, Ron, I got to tell you, this really is the most productive line I've ever seen. Thanks so much for the tour. It was better than I imagined. Thanks for coming. To many people, evaporator coils and air handlers are just the basic components of a split system. But to the folks here, the number one goal is to manufacture the industry's best products, and their dedication shows. But don't take my word for it. Schedule a Dare to Compare tour today.